In a historic moment for the James family, Bronny James, the son of NBA legend Lebron James, was selected by the Los Angeles Lakers as the 55th pick in the NBA draft. While many assumed that Bronny's decision to enter the draft was solely to play alongside his father, he clarified that this was not the only reason. I didn't come into the league just to play with my dad. Bronny stated, in a recent interview, I came into the league to make a name for myself, to make a difference, and to help my team win. When asked about the pressure of playing alongside his father, Bronny showed confidence and post beyond his years. I can handle it, he said with a smile, I've been dealing with pressure my whole life, being the son of Lebron James, but I'm ready for this moment. I'm ready to show the world what I can do. Bronny's journey to the NBA has not been without its challenges. In July 2023, he suffered a cardiac event that forced him to take a break from basketball. However, he made a remarkable recovery and went on to play for USC, where he averaged 4.8 points, 2.8 rebounds, and 2.1 assists per game. Lebron James, the NBA's career scoring leader, has spent six seasons with the Lakers and is likely to return for the upcoming season. While the father-son duo has never played together in the NBA, they have shared the court during the Lakers' practice sessions. Bronny credits his father for his guidance and support, but is eager to carve out his own paths in the league. My dad has been a huge influence on me, but I'm my own player, he said. I'm going to make my own way in this league. The Lakers will have Bronny James and Dalton Neck play for the summer league teams in Sacramento and Las Vegas this month. As Bronny prepares to take the court alongside his father, he's aware of the historic significance of this moment. No father-son duo has ever played together in the NBA, so this is a special moment for me and my family, he said. But I'm not going to let the pressure get to me. I'm going to enjoy this experience and make the most of it.